Why did uh, Riley do the onside kick instead of Graham? Why did Riley? Uh, this is something we had game plan. Um, you know, we always are trying to find the best way to get things done, regardless of who it is. It could be a kicker, a wide out, or whoever. You know what I mean? So it was something we tried and, uh, you know, didn't work. So we'll try something else. That uh, kick return, Galat, where you said something to Gillespie and he was running around the field telling guys something. Did you see something like that the Cowboys might be trying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> When you when you when you send a message out like that, like he's running around, is it almost like to show the Cowboys that you see? Not really, it? it's just communication. It's it's more about it's more about what we're doing as opposed to what they're doing. Does that make sense? Like yeah, we're yeah. adjusting to what they're doing, but we're just trying to communicate what we're trying to do versus what they're doing. Yeah, no, I get it. Okay. Is there Goodness. anything with Graham that you're seeing that maybe kind of nah. got to keep pounding into him? Yeah, it just. Keep kicking. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, you look at, at Graham and his body of work, I mean, just go back and look at the numbers. Like, his numbers speak for themselves. And, you know, newsflash, kickers miss kicks. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's just part of it, you know. Uh, but he's made a whole lot of them. So, he'll be fine. He self-corrects, and, and we'll, we'll keep going. What do you think about the job Riley's done this season? Riley's done a good job. Uh, I know it's, it's not as – what he would want to be his best, but uh, some of the stuff when we're in a game and, and we're going through some of these returns that we're playing, sometimes the, the ugly punt is a good punt. You know, when you're playing a guy like Deontay Harris, you, go ahead, go hit a 55 yard, four, eight ball to him outside the numbers and see what happens to you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want those kinds of punts. You know, sometimes the 38 yard, you know, ball out of bounds or a ball on the boundary or a high, short, fair catch, that's the one you want. You know, because if you look at these guys and how explosive they are, especially you give them space, it could get ugly in a hurry, you know. So we want to make sure that each game plan we go into, we have a, a prescribed way we want to play and punt. And we don't want to just line up and just shoot a ball out of jugs machine and just let these guys catch it and do work. So sometimes those shorter, uglier punts are by design? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Back this week, or at least on the field. Yeah, yeah, Cam. You know, uh, you know, Cam coming back. It, you know, Cam is Cam. I mean, he's long. He's explosive. Uh, he makes plays for us. Uh, he gives us versatility. You know, off. I mean, on defense and special teams. So, uh, having a guy back like that, with that kind of length, that type of explosiveness and production, you know, it's big for us. about the, uh, the punt in the Seahawks game where the guy punted it, punted it blocked, and punted it again? Yeah. It, it's a pretty good punt. It was an outstanding punt. Uh, but that's that's what that kid does. I mean, Michael Dixon is a ridiculous athlete. Uh, I worked him out when he came out of school, and, and it was a day kind of like this, but it was about 20 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour wind. And he hit two punts into the wind about 60 yards and it was it was one of the most impressive things I'd ever seen and you know those, those guys you know, those Australian guys especially guys like Mike I mean it's how we grow up throwing the ball right they grow up kicking the ball right so that's that's just what they do I mean just the foot talent that he has and be able to you know make plays on the fly like that picking up that ball with one hand off the ground and just being able to react it's something he's been doing his whole life. Like, that was just a pass to him. That's part of the game of Australian rules football. I mean, that's – seriously, if you go and you look at the game, that's what the game is. So he was right in his element in that part. So, now it's a – it's a problem. Like Joe said this other day, it's like once every 75 years you might see a, a play like that. I mean, it just never happens. I mean, it just doesn't. I mean, it's like literally like hitting the lottery. So you guys know about it? Like, did they know that that rule? I mean, there's the rules – you know, Mike Pereira I had no idea. Yeah, it's an obscure rule again. I mean, it's it's one of those deals where you think one thing and all of a sudden you hear from the officials, oh, that's legal, you know. So you think you'd like you'd like to think you know everything, you don't. He he mentioned that scooping it like that is something he learned as a kid, like so Australian saying, rules. Yeah. Is that something you would coach up with a guy who grew up in the United States and never learned it as a kid? Like, is that a valuable skill to try and teach? Or at that point in time, 
when the ball's been blocked, you get the ball however the hell you can get it. You know what I mean? Like, just get it. Like, I ain't, I'm not overcoaching the technique on picking up a freaking block punt, right? Now, we tell them that behind the line of scrimmage, you pick it up and you can advance and get a first down, you know? But he had the wherewithal just to kick the ball. So, I mean, and it's obviously he has big hands, big enough hands where he can scoop it up with one hit. Well, it was pretty impressive. Aldrick in here for workout last week. Just you know, how's he doing and how do you look? He's good. Uh, Aldrick is good. <laughs> I'll share this with you. He'll kill me for this, right? So I'm, I'm walking out on the field and I see this guy in the distance. It's like, oh, we're working out offensive lineman today. <laughs> and the closer I get to him, it's oh, that's Aldrick. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but he's, it, you know, he's just a big man. Aldrick is a big man. And uh, he's got to be 255, 60 pounds. But he's just a big man, and he can hit the ball a long way. So now he's he's doing well. Um, I wish him best of luck. He, he's a great great kid, and he, he did a great job for his vibes here. Around the league this past weekend, and a lot of missed kicks. Do you review all those? And is there do you see anything any trends on why this is happening? I I have my speculation, but uh, it's just weird. It, you know, it all happened all in one weekend. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's weird. But, uh, no, nah, you know, kickers miss kicks. What's your it happens. It happens, you know. Um, it's a weird deal. It is. It, it's, a, it's a weird deal. So, you know, hopefully we can kind of get through this as a league. You know, kick, you know hopefully, hopefully St. Louis will come to St. Louis. That's what I said. Uh, L.A. can come in here and, and miss a couple of kicks and, you know, go on from there. Are you glad they changed the rule for extra points to move it back? You know what? Does it make the game a little harder, you know, for special teams coaches? Absolutely it does, you know. But it was always, you know, every year is always a couple, you know, you always have somebody miss the, the, the old extra point, you know. So I think uh, when I was here, Lawrence missed a, a few, you know, two, three, maybe a year, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, they, they adapt. They're not getting anybody else. You know, they, they just adapt to it. It's a 33-yard field goal. You just get used to hitting it. You know, so it's like anything else. Whatever the standard is, the standard is that. We just hit the ball.